Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Letter Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked one v one. But before we get into that, I got to tell you guys that every subscription I get on YouTube from now and the entire year of 2022, uh, I will donate 10 cents per sub to a charity. At the end of the year, I will calculate it all and donate the correct amount of money to a charity that I have not decided yet. But if you're ever waiting for a time to sub, now's the time. And let's get into the game, shall we? Just normal stuff, I think. Uh, probably just go shell, one point and everything. And Bologna. <clears throat> Everyone knows this one's not really a surprise. Everyone knows Bologna is the best god, uh, or the best warrior in duel. It's, uh, it's pretty well known, I'd say. That she is the best, or one of the best. Accompanied with Osiris or Erlang Shen. As the others, all very, very good options. Um, the way you level her, right? Because that's what I did with the other the other video, the Kamazots video. Um, you build her bruiser, obviously. You don't want to go full damage and you don't want to go full tank because both of those options kind of suck at the end of the day. You want to build her a bruiser. And while building her bruiser, your favorite thing to do should be to max your three. All right. You do not win this fight at all. Literally ever. All right, massive kill. He passed all of his bands and uh, picked soul because he wanted to win. Now here's a little bit of a controversial thing that I'm gonna say when it comes down to Bologna is most people I would say level their two. I think. Personally, and this is my own opinion, you know, everything I say in this video, or all of my videos, really, is my own opinion and shouldn't be taken to heart. But, what I will say is, I think, in almost every scenario, maxing the three is better than maxing the two. I know, people aren't going to agree with it, but, the thing is, maxing your two... You're always going to have that AoE auto. Whether you get the damage off on the two slam or not, you're getting the AoE auto out, which is really the only reason you want the two. It's, it, it is the only reason you want the two, is so you can have that AoE auto. So leveling it up makes no sense unless you really are trying to build like a full a full power Bologna and you just want a meme and you want the hammer to just slam like a bitch. Then okay, I understand it, but that's not you know the best way to play and the reason i'm doing this with each um which each with each specific type of uh of god like warrior assassin whatever um the reason i'm doing this little mini series it's only going to be five six episodes long is because you know i want people to be able to pick a god out of each class and practice that god in duel and get a little bit better at them you know um but, but, here's my advice. Don't max the two. Instead, max the three. The disarm is going to be longer on them, and the heal is going to be bigger on you. Not to mention the poke damage is very, very good, and the cooldown goes down as well. You don't really need the cooldown on your two, because you're only going to want every about 17 seconds, which is about how much every wave comes out. Or about every... Like, once you're done clearing the wave, in about 17 to 20 seconds, a new wave will be in the mid. In duel. That's just how it is. So, that's really the only time you need one. Um, or need your two. I'm sorry, not your one. So, leveling, it doesn't make much sense. That being said, when your three is max, you level the two or the one. Not, like, it doesn't really matter here. The slow increase... On the one is really good, but I'm against the soul right now, and she's slow immune in her three, so me leveling that slow is not gonna matter too much. It's gonna be very hard for me to make any kind of progression at the moment. He's just got some life steal, so I'm just kind of chilling. Okay, a little bit of a weird play. All right, I'm gonna wait for his uh, thing to run out. I was going to ult him, but a little too scary for my blood here. Okay, not anymore. Okay. I almost dropped that kill. 
because I turned around thinking that the, the swing was going to kill him on the two, but it didn't. Almost dropped that. Could have been bad. It's all right. And I, I just went uh, Mannequin's Blackthorn because all I want is a little bit of sustain. I just want some HP. All right. And obviously, I want him to think he is okay here. Oh, I missed my one. Good juke by you. Bad ability usage by me. Okay. You can't win them all, you know? You can't win them all. Yeah, so now that my three is maxed, I can I can safely level my two. I think in a lot of matchups when they're not slow immune, like if you're fighting a Hebo or a Soul or, or you know, any god that's slow immune, I can't name them all. You max the two instead of the, instead of the one second, but... You know... Everything is slightly different. Every matchup is a little bit different. Ouch. I will alt if I need to, but I feel pretty safe right now. Uh, my next item... My next item... I think I'm going to go Shogun's here because... Because... He doesn't do much to me right now. He's really not doing much. Like, damage-wise, he's got Bancrofts. So he's only really going to be pumping numbies when he's low. And going defense here is just going to give me more advantage on my three. It's going to let me pressure harder with my three. Because when I'm tank here and I take less damage, that heal for my three, now that it's maxed at 45, that heal for my three is going to feel a lot stronger than it did before. Because I'm taking less damage. So that's, I mean, that's just how it works. And obviously the Shogun's, instead of... The Genjis or anything for the attack speed. Okay. Really do not do any amount of damage to me. Alright. Perfect fight. Very, very, very good fight. He got tier 2 defense, so... He was a little bit scary in terms of, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this kill. But... When I perfectly timed the ult, I knew I had it. The only issue there was if I ulted even a millisecond too soon, I was dead as hell. <laughs> but luckily, I have 100 million hours in this game, and it's easy for me to tell when a soul 3 is going to go away. A pretty frame perfect timing. A lot of practice went into that play. Alright. Let's see. I would like it to not let him do his blue, but I have a feeling he's already there. Not already here. Actually here. Okay. I'm not gonna try to do too much damage to him. I just want to clear the wave. I just want to clear the wave and uh, get to the blue buff. What I got a hankering for right now. And clear the minis. And then do damage to him. Ooh. You, my friend. You, my friend, got a little bit too greedy. You could have just ran away with the three. You could have ran away with the three, but instead you decided to stay in the in the pit and box it out. Fortunately, my build is a little bit better than yours right now. Just a little bit better. And one of the reasons, by the way, that these gods that I'm saying, like literally not not just um not just Bologna, but literally all of the gods in this entire series, the reason that they are quote unquote some of the best. Some of the best gods in duel, or not necessarily best gods in duel, but best gods for their class in duel. Is because when you're ahead, the game kind of plays itself. You don't really need to do much. You know, like, when you're Hun Bats, or when you're like Sir Cat, or Wheelix, or something like that. A lot of times, even if you're ahead, you're like, okay, how do I, how do I convert this? How am I going to change this lead into a win? You know, when you're playing Bologna, you don't have that issue. You just press 1 and W key. 
You know, like... I don't even need to really play the game. I just sit there. I just sit there now that I have my lead. Buy whatever items I want. And... Slam. Yeah, like, actually just slam. So... That's, that's one of the benefits of playing the gods in this series. Is... If you get a lead... Then you can kind of turn your brain off and finish the game out. You know, like you can save that brain power for next game. That being said, I'm not doing as much damage as I was hoping for to this guy. I may need to blink away from this soul. No? Alright. Awesome. With my healing... That's mine. Thank you. All right, there we go. And that's a surrender. Exactly like I said. You know, like, you just don't even really need to be worried when you play this god from ahead. Now, what I was going to do with my build... Because, because these videos are about learning the, the best way to win. Um, what I was going to do with my build was just make sure that I capitalize on my attack speed. And um, the way I do that is by getting uh, kins and probably some sort of... Maybe another defensive item. I'm not sure here. I could go kins and Aussie cause, or, or kins and Toxic Blade. Um... Really anything is okay here. A little bit of anti-heal is probably the best bet. So maybe I would go Toxic Blade and then Kins last item. Then I would upgrade this to Mannequin Mace, obviously. And that would be my build. Just really capitalizing on the auto attacks and making sure I'm getting enough value out of the one and the three when I'm boxing. Never really using the two to fight. If you uh if you're fighting an auto attack carry, make sure that you're not using your two in the middle of a of a fight. Because your one blocking auto attacks or your three disarming and healing you, both of those have utility, whereas your two is pure straight damage and it is not worth it during a fight. Um, you're always going to want to be able to, to have some sort of utilization with your one and your three during the fight. So never use your two during a fight, only to either engage or finish off. And um, make sure to use your alt when their CC is gone. That's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did... Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if I uh, missed something that I should have said. And until next time, peace.